Hey everyone, this is a stretch for the core and the lower body. I want you to come into child's pose first. Bring the, uh, the feet will be together, the knees will be slightly apart, and sit back as far as is comfortable towards your heels. And relax slowly to the floor. You can keep the arms forward, you can bring the arms back. Whatever you like, we're gonna stay here for about five deep breaths. Shift side to side if you like. With every inhale, allow the breath to deepen a little bit. And lengthen every exhale a little bit more. Feel the tension leave the shoulders, the back, the neck. On the next exhale, slowly roll up to your hands and knees. Extend your legs, come all the way down. Bring the elbows under the shoulders and lift the chest forward and up. Feel the stretch through the abs here, pull the shoulders back. If you like, hands under the shoulders, lift up a little bit higher, draw the shoulders back. Big inhale, open up the abs. And then slowly sit back again to your heels. Keep the knees towards each other this time. Feel a deeper stretch through the whole back. And exhale, roll up to your hands and knees. Tuck the toes under the feet and lift the hips up towards downward dog. Lengthen through the legs, pedal through the feet, reaching the heels towards the floor. Staying here for a couple more deep breaths. Allow the body to sink and relax into the pose as much as is possible. Feel the backs of the legs lengthen. And slowly walk the feet a little bit forward, walk the hands a little bit back. Stay forward over the legs. One more big inhale and exhale, bend the legs more, tuck the pelvis under, slowly roll up through the spine. Shoulders, neck, head, last to come up. Roll the shoulders up, back and down, coming to standing. And feel free to hold on to something. Bend your right leg. Grab onto the ankle or the foot. If it's not available to you, you can wrap a belt or a towel around the, the foot and pull in this way. I'm gonna stretch the quads here. I'm gonna bring the knee, the right knee, back, right beside your left knee. And then try to push your right hip slightly forward without increasing the arch in your back. So stay very tall. Try to point that knee down. Some of you might even be able to get that knee slightly back. You wanna make sure you're stretching the whole quads without a flexed hip like this, and then you're not really stretching the quads or the hip flexors. Keeping the hips slightly forward and bringing that knee down and back will allow you to focus on the quads and open up through the front of the right hip. One more inhale there. 
Exhale, bring that right leg back to a lunge position. Lunge down slightly, keep that back heel high. Tuck the pelvis under a little bit to bring the front of your right hip into more of an extension, more of a stretch. Reach your right arm forward and up, and then slightly back. This will continue to open up through the front of your right hip, through the hip flexors, and also open up through the abs and the rib cage. Big inhale, maybe even looking up. Keep the core strong, though. You don't want to sink into your back. You don't want to bend in your back here. Just really follow that uh, circular line all the way up from the back foot through to the right hand. One more inhale and exhale. Slowly come forward, round in the back. Lift your right leg up slightly and then press the right heel down to the floor, stretching the calf here. Now that um, foot can be close towards you. It can be far back. Depends on your own range of motion. You want to get the heel down with the right toes pointing forward to focus on stretching that uh, the right calf muscle also into the right Achilles as well. Stay tall. Again, you can be leaning on something and the hands can be on a chair. It can even be on your leg here as well. One more breath here. And release. Now bring the legs together, send your right leg slightly forward. Not so far forward that you transfer your weight. Keep your weight back on the left foot, right leg slightly forward, flexed foot. So the heel is just slightly forward, toes are lifted. And now drop your hips back, bending your left leg, keeping your right leg straight, feeling the hamstring stretch here on the back of the right leg. It's easier, usually easier, to pull that left hip back so that the right leg is actually turned out from the hips, but keep your right hip back so the hips are parallel, so the torso is parallel as you face that leg. Everybody's range of motion here is different. Keep flexing that foot. If it's available to you, maybe the left hand even comes down and grabs onto the right toes. But if the back is excessively rounded and you're pulling, then don't do that. Think about a long back here instead, just a gentle um, amount of tension stretch on the back of that right leg through the, uh, the back of the right knee as well. And I want you to allow the foot to come down to the floor so the leg is a bit more relaxed. You might find that you can release forward into the stretch a little bit more. But again, it's more, it's advisable to keep the chest up as opposed to reaching down to the floor. I mean, you can if you like, but um, that might just end up stretching your back more than the right hamstrings. And that's what we really want to focus on right here. All right, one more exhale. I want you to roll up with a strong core. Shoulders up, back, and down. All right, we're going to change sides. We're going to bring that left leg up into a quad stretch and stay. Again, you're going to try to bring that left knee back beside the right, the left knee beside the right knee. Try to press the hips slightly forward, stay tall, hold on to a chair or a wall if your balance is challenged a bit too much here. And stay tall through that supporting leg as well. Try not just to sink and be lazy about sinking into the hip. This is still very active as we release the lower body. And release. Bring that left leg back into a lunge. Tuck the pelvis under slightly. Drop down, bending that back leg a little bit more. Keep the back heel high. This is not going to be the calf stretch here. Open up through the front of your left hip. Reach your left arm forward, up, up, and maybe even slightly back. Maybe lifting the focus. Deepen your breathing with every inhale. Try to expand the abdomen, the lower abdomen, the area around the front of your left hip.
one more inhale and exhale reach that arm forward rounding the back taking the tension off of that back and then bring the left leg slightly forward bring the heel down to stretch the calf muscles here find where the best position is for you maybe it's close towards that right foot maybe it's a little further back but keep the toes forward as opposed to turned out so make sure they're pointing straight forward all right stretching the calf muscles stretching the achilles tendon on the back of the heel don't force the stretch make sure you can breathe easily throughout all of the stretches the leg will still be active here it's not going to be too relaxed all right relax bring that left leg slightly forward heel is down toes are up bend the right leg drop the hips back remember that this back hip the right hip is not going to be turned out like this so you're not going to be focusing on the on, uh, you're not going to be stretching the leg at an angle you know bring that right hip forward and back both hips coming back chest coming straight forward flexing that left foot hard so you'll still feel the calf stretch as well and feel the back of the left knee stretch maybe the right hand comes towards the foot listen to your body do what feels best for you usually we don't need to be grabbing and pulling usually we never really need to grab and pull but if it's better for your range of motion if you can come really far forward over the leg with a completely flat back then that might be uh, more of a, a better stretch for you all right allow that foot to come down pointing the foot keeping that right leg bent keeping the hips dropping back as the torso comes down and exhale slowly roll up and come to standing relaxing the legs take both legs wide turned out slightly bend the legs hands on the insides of your thighs slowly come forward all the way over the legs roll up extending the legs inhale exhale bend the legs come forward through the legs stay for an inhale exhale roll up inhale exhale sink into the squat releasing forward rolling up and one more inhale and exhale come on down I want you to stay here this time hands can come to the floor or hands can grab onto your opposite elbows to feel more of a release on your back. We're going to keep the knees very bent here. Stay for one more inhale. And exhale. Hands can be on the floor. They can come to the legs to help yourself roll all the way up. Come to standing. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Bring the legs back in under the shoulders. Come to standing. Reach your arms high. One more big inhale and exhale release great job everybody hope you're feeling good hope you've loosened up some tension some kinks throughout the body have a great day and i'll see you next time